Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can multiply this directly. X times X times X. We can write that as X raised to power 3 minus X times X, also X raised to power 2, equals to 100 on this side. Then, yeah, we take 100 to the left hand side and we have X raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 100 then equals to 0 here then next step we can express 100 as 125 minus 25 as this what we have here becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 then minus into bracket 125 minus 25 Close brackets, then equals to zero here. Then yeah, minus open this bracket. This become x raised to power three minus x square, then minus 125, then plus 25 equals to zero here. Which implies here we can express 125 as 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 raised to power 3. And also 25 as 5 times 5, that's 5 raised to power 2. Then this equation becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 2, then equals to 0 here. As this, here we bring the power of 3 together. We have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3. Then minus also the power of 2 together, x raised to power 2 plus 5 raised to power 2, then equals to 0 here. Then here, yeah, this same thing as x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets. Then minus is common here, we factor it and we have minus into brackets, x raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 2 plus brackets, then equals to 0 here. Then, next step here. This bracket follow when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is same thing as a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a square plus ab plus b square. And also, this bracket follows when we have a square minus b square, which is same thing as a minus b into bracket. Open bracket a plus b. That is what we have here. Follow this and becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square close brackets. Then also here we have minus into bracket x minus 5. Close bracket, then open bracket x plus 5, close bracket, then equals to 0 here. That is, here we have x minus 5 comma. Factor it out and we have x minus 5 into bracket, then here we have x square plus 5x plus 5 squared as 25. Then here we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5. Close bracket, then close this bracket equals to zero here that is next step here we have minus open bracket here this becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x square plus 5x plus 25 then minus x minus 5 close brackets equals to zero here then this same thing as x minus 5 into bracket open brackets x square 5x minus x become plus 4x then 25 minus 5 plus plus 20 close brackets equals to 0 here this here we have two possible cases the first one x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 4x plus 20 
equals to zero here. And solving on this side, we have x equals to five, which is a real solution here. Then yeah, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to one, b equals to four, and c equals to twenty. Then applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b, also minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then here, what we have becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1 that is we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that's 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20 that's 80 over 2 then we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 that's minus 64 over 2 then we can also write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. That is, this follows when we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b. That is, here we can express as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8. And root minus 1 is i over 2, which is same thing as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. At this here we have x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus 8i over 2, that's 4i. At this here we have two complex solutions. And therefore, altogether here we have three solutions in this given problem. One of the solutions and two complex solutions. When we write it out, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 hat and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 i this year we have three solutions one real and two complex solutions and thank you for watching don't forget these tips subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now